all my Fractal Space uh, videos, but that's probably a little bit too much. Where the hell am I? Uh, okay, this does not look good. Oh, apparently I'm on fire. Um, I got absolutely no clue as to where I am. I don't know. Now that I think of it, I think I'm right next to the the big Kahuna thing. But why is it so dark down here? Did I go somewhere where I shouldn't have been going? It might be the case. Ah, damn it, it's too far. Oh. Oh dear. We're going down, Houston. Ah, uh, come on, move up. Okay, this is a little safer. Ooh. Deep in the sea. Ah, cheers, Hawk. Get away from me, you stupid fish. Oh, don't walk on the lava. Don't do it. Let's get some more sulfur. Kind of safe around here. Okay, it is. Let's uh, repair this baby. The hell? What are you doing on there? It's draining my energy. You get you gotta be kidding me. Get the hell off there. Yeah, stupid sliming. And here I thought you were friendly. Get off. And you as well. Don't you dare get near to that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you didn't like it. I don't care. Alright, one, one of those fishes. Did I already grab those? I'm not sure. Let's check. Uh, oh, I did. Okay, cool. They're actually leeches. I guess I could have known. I should have known. Uh, I was going this way. Hello? Oh. Don't get near me. I'm going to punch you in the face. Uh, crap, it's so dark down here. I'm fairly sure I need to go up somewhere, but... This is like the misty cavern. Let's use thrusters. Maybe there's something above us. I always get lost in this place. Oh, that looks like a ceiling. Right. My base is over there. I need to go that way. Everything is basically over there. Did I exit the tunnel on the wrong side, maybe? Hmm. Don't think so. 
No, this this isn't right. Let's just continue this way. I think now that I try to remember it that this mist goes on for a little bit and then it clears. But I do believe we're going the right way. Yeah, this seems all right. Hey, Iron, how you doing? Caution. Mild dehydration detected. Fluid intake recommended. Um... Now I'm not sure again. I think this should be the way. Maybe I should start building some road signs. That would probably help. Yeah, of course I saw myself in the newsletter. Come on now. Oh, wait, I should uh, drink something. Vital signs stabilizing. It's actually have a peeper as well. Uh, we're not going to do that, no. Free and hell? So dark down here. I'm honestly feeling a little bit lost. Ah, the bot usually waits until the door closes, and then he sees if, if everyone, well, if everyone's in, he just welcomes them all at the same time. And otherwise, he just welcomes the one guy that came in. Don't remember this place being so dark. Or lifeless. Um Dead end. Up, up and away! It's way too freaking dark down here. I mean, we're getting closer towards the surface, but... Honestly, I don't feel comfortable.
Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh. Okay, maybe I am going the right way. This seems to be like another cavern. At least we're moving towards it again. Oh. Huh. Okay, it's not that deep. But this doesn't go anywhere. Crap. Now we're going back down. You gotta be kidding me. It came from over. Bloody hell. Okay, let's just keep following this for another, I don't know, five minutes or something. Okay, this is quite deep. Yeah. I'm fairly sure I'm just going the back the way I came now. Hey, but at least going down is faster than going up. I think I know where I fucked up. Yeah, we need to go all the way back. That's basically what we need to be doing. And down into the abyss we go. Wink. Yeah, this is a different tunnel from the the cave with the sea dragon leviathan, I think it's called. Hey, but at least those of you who haven't seen the sea dragon leviathan can see it in a minute. Or two minutes, or Three minutes. Uh, these are G Logitech G thirty fives or are they thirty nines? Uh, one or the other. USB digital surround. They do have a microphone, but I'm not using the microphone anymore. Okay, there's life ahead again. This is good. Let's get out. Let's check the storage. Okay, we've got some extra water in here. That's good. Let's drink that. Let's eat another fish. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Alright, don't you get near me, you stupid thing. I do need to stay off the floor though. It's gonna burn through my suit. Um, did I? 
come from the left or the right? Or did I come from down there? I came from down there, didn't I? You know what? Let's check this out. This side. This might actually be the way out. It probably is. Oop. Oh, one of those teleporting freaks. Can you tell? This game is still in early access. Sennheiser Game Zero. Geronimo! Okay, yeah, I think this is slightly better, but we do need to go that way. I'll take that. Nice and warm down here. Up and over. Hmm. Oh. No. Get unstuck, come on. Honestly, now that I got my uh, standalone microphone, I probably won't ever be uh, picking a, a microphone headset over a non microphone. From, does that? Does that make sense? This is the way. Oh, hello, Sulfur. Yeah, this I definitely remember. Nope. So much sulfur down here. But yeah, I got a, a weak, uh, yeah, weakness for this this headset in particular. Oh, I'm actually full. Okay, oh, that's right. I've been getting this headset for the last, I don't know, ten years. Maybe that's a little long. Maybe it's more like eight. Right, we're getting closer to the next part where we go up. Well, apparently our base is that way. I 
wish we could place beacons that only had a range of, uh, let's say, 500 meters. Maybe even less, that you could make a little network that doesn't show up across the map like, like that. Well, I tend to take care of, well, I, th I think I tend to take care of my stuff as well, but it still seems to break. It's always breaking on the, uh, on one of the air uh, pieces. Though usually within the warranty uh, time. Uh, this does not look good. Okay. I think it's the tunnel over there. Seems about right. Although, does it? Where the hell? Okay, I th thought I knew where I was, and now I have absolutely no clue again. Okay, let's just re let the thrusters recharge for a second. Um, I guess this is all right. I don't know. It it looks different from what I remember. But if we're coming up on the tree in a second, which we... Yes, there it is. Okay, we're good. But this should be misty. Oh, there it is. Huh, very weird. background music. Let's actually turn that up a little bit. Uh, sound, yes, master. It's already a max. Oh, okay. I guess we're not turning it up any further. thrusters there you go it's actually another exit on this end although we're down at 862 meters I guess I could just get the sea moth and uh, explore that way because it does go up I wonder if I turn the shadows off, does the mist look better? Does it render better?
Ah, there's my big friendly skeleton pal. Come on, get unstuck. There you go. I don't really have a reason to switch this headset out. I mean, it's, it's, well, for me, it's comfortable. I don't really mind how heavy it is. Some people complain about how heavy it is. It doesn't, like, sit to, uh, or, or squish my ears. I've had a Corsair headset for a little bit in between. That thing was damn horrible. The microphone is good, so if I do need a fallback, I've got a solid microphone on it. Which is a big plus, even though, yeah, I don't need it at the moment. And I shouldn't need it in the foreseeable future. Uh, foreseeable future. Hello, Skull. How are you doing? Actually, come to think of it, I think... I read somewhere that in the new version, this Skull should be upright. So maybe, I'm not sure if that's the uh, experimental version though, but maybe I should start a new playthrough. Okay, we're nearly home. There's my sea moth. Actually, there's my base. Not just my sea moth. Yay, ghost rays. Get unstuck. Ah. Hmm. Should be that way, I guess. Hmm. It's being a little weird at the moment. Seems kind of jittery for some weird reason. There we are. Honey, we're home. Ah, come on. King stuck on corral again. <laughs> yes, thank you for extending downwards. That looks much better. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, let's... How's my power level going? Okay, 430, that's fine. Okay, cool. Um, right. I need to open my storage. Get all of this out. I think I need to make another aquarium as well. Hmm. I don't know, it seems kinda... 
feel like I'm, I've got frame drops or something. Hold on, let me just quickly save this and reload it. Because I don't like this, or it's already good. No, it doesn't seem right. Hold on. Uh, main menu. Hmm. Maybe I should turn off some of the... Yeah, this is alright. It's not an awful lot there. You can actually adjust at this point. Okay, let's see if it's better now. I can't wait for the next massive update on this game. Yay, we're back. Okay, does it... Uh, Power seems All primary systems better, I guess. Online. Give me fruit. Oh, I can't actually because everything's full, right? Yes, doofus, it's full. Base power restored. All primary systems online. That's what you just said, didn't you? Um, right. Oh, these have all grown nicely. Let's see if we can drop some stuff in here. Yes, we can. So much sulfur. Where am I going to build the next fish thing, though? Huh. Bathophobia, really? Is that a thing? I have no idea. Uh, storage, yes, thank you. Let's leave that in there. I should get some charges up in here. Um, right, let's actually let's let's check outside for a brief minute. Where would I like? Oh my god, I got so many ghost rays. Why is there a hole in the floor there? Oh, because there's a hole in the floor. Um, I don't think I want to make this one taller. I think that's tall enough, but where do I want it? I'm not going to be building it on top of my nuclear reactor. That's out of the question. I can't build it on top of here. Can I extend somewhere? Can I build like another exit over on this side? Oh, I got my... My reinforced plates here. I guess I could just remove those. It's not like I need all of them. Or maybe I can build something on this end and then extend upwards here. Oh, oh it's free of the deep and deep water. Okay, yeah, this is. Yeah, okay, yeah, then I kind of get it. Although at the moment we are perfectly safe. Strange as that may be. Are you trying to get into my base, little fella? Let's go back inside. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Um let's see. Need to drop some more eggs in here. Yep, definitely. Uh this one is full, yeah? Oh no, not entirely yet. Let's drop these in there as well. Diamonds, yeah, sure. Um, need some more water. That's fully charged. Um, huh, where did I leave my scanner? Is it in here? Oh, uh, not my scanner, my habitat builder, yes. Five. Okay, let's see. I will need to... Why is there a dead fish there? Is that a dead fish? It's... Okay, it's making kind of... Weird movement. No, I kind of get it. I mean, I would not be comfortable at this depth uh, either. But in-game, I'm totally fine with it. Probably wouldn't be comfortable in space either, come to think of it. Okay, let's see. 
Uh, so then we're gonna extend from over this side. Uh, I'm not too sure about that, honestly. I could actually extend from this end. And then build up from here. I, yeah, that's probably what we're gonna be doing. Alright, let's... Wait, is that reinforced? Hold on. No, I don't think so. So... That's gonna go over there. And then, can I build another one on... Yes, okay. It's gonna look kind of weird though. Maybe I should make it glass. That's gonna be nicer, let's make it glass. Although then I probably don't have enough glass. <laughs> oh, goodness, come on. Get, ah, yeah, that, that's the one, okay. So we're gonna need some glass for that. And you know what? We're just gonna put the multi-purpose room. Can I build it here though? Does it actually want to go there? Huh. Okay, no it doesn't. Okay, this is, this is not going to work. Ah, <sighs> decisions, decisions. Can I... I guess I could build it down here. Extend over that way. Ah. You know what, let's just hover about in the sea moth for a second. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um Where's that leg? Weird. Weirdness. Okay. So, um, it's probably a good idea not to extend over in this direction, come to think of it. Oh, you know what I could do? I could extend over in this direction. Although, it's gonna be... Let's see, I'm gonna do it from over here, am I gonna do it from over here? I think I'm gonna do it from over here. I think this is the best way to do it. The, is that entry level of where my... No, that's... Hmm. Bloody hell. I don't even know how much oh, glass I still have. Probably enough. Uh, that's my torpedoes. Yeah, okay. Honestly, not too sure about this. Got my roof, uh, my windows over there. Oh, let's go down here. Oh, right, I need some eggs. What, do you, did you guys lay any? You didn't? Why did you not lay any eggs? Right, screw it. We're just going to abduct some of you. Uh, can I? Wait, I should be able to grab a couple, right? How many can I carry? Two? Uh, ooh. They're very tiny. Apparently they're very tiny. Okay, that should do me. Don't worry, I'm not gonna turn you into, uh, raw power. Ahem. How many more can I put in there? Another four. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Damn, I got a lot of these. That's four, yeah? That's four, good. Come on, let me go. I know that you're relatives, but hey. What did you honestly expect me to do? Okay. So, it's probably going to be the level just above here then. 
all. Nah, that's not going to work. I could remove this one and place it on the other side. Could do that actually. Could put it on down here or something. Hmm. Nah. Okay. Let's first check. Is this empty? This is empty. Uh, that's my replicate. Uh, these all should be empty. Okay, let's drop it in. Ah, get unstuck. Let's drop the rest of this stuff in here for now. I don't need that. And everything else I can. Oh, I don't. I, oh, hold on. No. Nope. I actually need this at the moment. Yeah, let's put in the still Still-suit suit again. Equipped and capturing body moisture to chemically neutralize residual odors in bodily fluids before re-ingestion. Please press the activation button in the next three seconds. You have chosen not to activate chemical taste neutralization. That Thank was you. not three nice seconds. Day. Welcome aboard. Captain. Thank you. Systems online. I need some of that and some of this and uh yeah let's take more uh right so we're gonna put uh, normal corridor. I kind of want to have a glass corridor though. Okay, so that's one. Uh, are we going to build more than one? Oh, this is. Oh, this might actually. Oh, because I need to move this thing past there every, every time. Although I can move upwards. Okay, now we should be alright. Okay, let's put a second one. Come on. Come on. Come on, oh, come on, stop fucking about. How hard can it really be? Come on now. No, just extend the... It doesn't want to. Okay, screw it, we're first going to build this. So I need glass. So then I actually need to switch some stuff out. So... Big scary spider. Is this still full? That's still full. Here should be my glut. Three. You're kidding me, right? That's not enough. That's not nearly enough. Okay, apparently the project is on hold. Go away, spider. Go away. Go. Shoot. I don't want you here. With your little crabby hands. And your big brain. He doesn't want to go away. Oh look, one of those just teleported in. Ah. Right, how am I going to do this then? I don't have enough glass. Blast it. Damn it, damn it. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna drop this stuff inside then. Mm, this way. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's put that all in here. So I'm guessing we're going to take the seam off, uh, go through the tunnel, need some more water. That's actually, let's eat some fruit as well. Nom 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 nom. Still need more water though. I got three of these. Okay, let's just get two water I guess. Actually, one should be enough. Uh, 
We'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. We're going to take the seam off and go on to the other side. Uh, let's check if we've got some power cells in this thing. Uh, storage compartments on the other side. And yeah, there it is. Okay, let's see what we've got. Any batteries? Any power cells? Full, 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 full. Okay, this is good. Got two beacons. Yeah, this should be alright. Let's go. Alright, this way. So first we're going to head on down back to the skeleton. This is... wait. Oh, where's the beacon to the skeleton? Base A, yeah. Skeleton's that way, okay. Oh, this weirdness again. Taking the wrong tunnel again. Well, fortunately, this doesn't happen all the freaking time. <laughs> My God. I get lost. Seriously, I really get lost all the bloody time. It's like my special power. If I were to be a superhero, my special power would be getting lost all the bleeding time. We're just going to quickly dock to get all our energy back and then we're going to move the other way. Probably should remove that as well, although when I reload it's going to be gone, so it doesn't matter. If it's not built, it'll be gone. Oh, ahem! Drunk driver coming through. Careful. Let's uh, repair this. Righty, back in. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so this is this way. I knew that. Just checking to make sure that you guys knew that. See, there it is. Green mist instantly. really not so difficult once you start paying attention. 
it's really hard to start paying attention though. Splits. Okay, so split should be up in the next chamber. Then we can see the tree on the left, and then the other tunnel is on the right, and that's where we're gonna go to. There's the tree. And this should be the other tunnel. This looks nice. Oh, it's really dark here. That's a tad bit annoying. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Ahem. Ah, another one of those. Oh, that was weird. Huh. Yeah, the idea is that you uh, came on board this really gigantic spacecraft uh, and you were looking for a, another spacecraft that got lost around here and you get shot down uh, whilst in space. Well, still, uh, maybe you're in orbit, I'm not completely sure, but you crash on this planet and apparently everyone died except for you. And you're supposed to, I guess, find a way out off the planet. Okay, we actually got a clear way to the surface. Let's go up. Hmm, okay, yeah, let's go up. That way I can show you that big spaceship. The weird thing though is, well, it, it's still under construction, the weird thing is that you're looking for a massive craft and seeing how massive your own craft is, it's kind of weird that you are not finding any leftover pieces of the, uh, the first craft that came here. Uh, ah, there it is. It's a little bit foggy at the moment, apparently. Actually, we can jump. I'll s we should be able to... Uh... Yeah. Hey, what's that thing in front of me? Oh, the island is there. Right. That makes sense. But yeah, that's it. Wow, if that's the... Is that the, the floating island? That should be the floating island. Yeah, yeah, I'm fairly sure that's the floating island. Although it doesn't look like the floating island. No, this is not the floating island. Wow, we're all the way over here? Wow, okay. That's quite... I didn't expect us to be here. Huh, okay, cool. So yeah, there's a big-ass island over here, 
which from what I understood at some point is gonna get uh, some sort of alien building on it at the moment it doesn't have it there's actually a tunnel here have I already been through that tunnel out of my way fishies out of my way I think I have I'm not completely sure but I think I have Uh, where does that go? Does that go anywhere? No. This looks pretty friggin' cool. Huh. Uh, I probably should not follow this cave too far because... different caves and then I get lost and then things go horribly wrong and I die because of dehydration but apparently this is a pretty big cave system uh, well he decided to live on the sea because uh, I'll show you I'll show you where you start Actually, there's it, there's multiple reasons. Uh, I'll show you the one that's actually relevant for this place first, if I can, because things do tend to change every once in a while. Um. Hmm. Okay, maybe I can't. Let's just walk around real quick. Seems pretty quiet at the moment. Okay, well, there used to be these uh, uh, metallic spiders, I think you can call them. Little robots crawling around. I got no idea where they all went. But the first time I came here, they were all around. It was very... Well, not all over, but there were a lot of them. And uh, those were quite hostile, so this place wasn't the nicest place to live on. Now there's another island, which is actually a floating island, as in it's not really, it's, it's just floating on top of the water. Kind of weird, but pretty cool. And that one seems pretty safe. There's no, oh well, there weren't any creepy crawlies around there. There was some plant life uh, from which you could eat the fruit. So that was quite hospitable. Let's actually drink this. But you start off. Actually, I want to show you one more. Oh, hold on. I want to show you one more thing before we head on over there. Because there are these sort of guardian fish around. And there should be one around here somewhere. These are little annoying buggers. Am I on the wrong side of the island? Is that it, maybe? Oh, this spine shivering shriek, uh, shrieks, though. Okay. I, I got no idea. There should be a bigger one around here. Oh, whatever. Okay, let's just head to the starting area. Uh, that's base A. That's pretty much where you start out. And then you get to see some of the different underground, underground, underwater biomes at the same time. Which I think is pretty cool. With little different fish. Little fish, bigger fish. And there's a couple of really big fish, but we're not going to be running into those. Both of these are hostile. That's debris from the spaceship. Uh, 
those are leeches. These little annoying buggers. But we're safe inside the sea moth. Ah, we're already at the base. And my first base. So this is basically where you start out. A little further to the west I started out. And then you can see we're pretty close to the ship. But we should not be able to see the islands. There's two of them. And you can't see a single one. So when you start out, as far as you're concerned, there's a little bit of corral sticking out of the, the water line over there. But as far as you're concerned, the only thing around is water. Tons and tons of water. I came with this, uh, this crash pod, which is now way over there in the distance for some weird reason. It just floated off and I, I think it never stopped floating because at some point I actually went over there and it was way off and it was still drifting away. But yeah, that started out somewhere around here. You got your, your basic stuff on there. And you start out with collecting basic materials and then you upgrade your tools so that you can collect better and better stuff. But this is pretty much the safe zone where you start out in. There's no hostile creatures here. These are your basic materials. This I actually need for glass. So let's pick this up. The thing is though, if you... Uh, well, not actually. If you if you mine everything on a certain area, it doesn't respawn. It doesn't Welcome respawn, aboard, basically. Captain. If you take all the fish away in a certain area, they won't uh, they won't breed. So no new fish. Ah, more quartz. I'll take you, and I'll take you. We need a whole lot of that for what I'm uh, planning on doing. So at the very start, you basically are gathering stuff to uh, make a knife. This is a upgraded version of the knife and make a, a an air tank so you can stay underwater longer and then later you make the sea glide which helps you get around faster and has a little light on it but that then drains uh, battery energy and then you need to make something that recharges your batteries and then you upgrade to that sea moth of mine which I now oh there it is which requires bigger batteries, it requires power cells, and then you need something to re recharge those power cells, and then up onward and upward, and then at the very end you build that suit, but for everything complicated that you want to build, you need to first find the blueprints, because you don't know how to make things without. And these blueprints are all over the place. I'll show you one of those really big fish in a second, hold on. Uh, that's the Aurora, let's go this way. Inside the sea moth, we're relatively safe. We're not completely safe, but it's not like anything's gonna kill us outright. Especially not with the, did I install the armor upgrade on this thing? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, so we're, we're reasonably safe, but not as safe as we could be. <laughs> and that bigger ship I was in, uh, back over on the, uh, the deep base. Uh, that's basically a submarine, a true submarine. 
You can dock this thing in there. Oh, there's another one. I need so much quartz. So much of it. Okay, enough of this. Let's, uh... Am I going the right way still? Uh, nope. East. Yeah, this is... Okay, this way. No, you can build all over. If I wanted to build a base right here, I could do that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's basically... Are you done? You want some more of this? Okay, he just wanted a little bite, and, and now he's he's content. He's moving along. Usually, they warn you before they decide to take a bite out of you. You could even build a base on the the surface on one of the islands, as far as I'm aware. I haven't tried it yet, uh, but you can build above water level, so. I see no reason why you shouldn't be able to build on top of uh, one of the islands. Uh, okay, this is the back of the Aurora. There should be like a gulch up ahead. Probably right past this. And that's where the big nasties are. Can you hear them? Oh, there it is. Hello. And this thing can actually destroy the sea moth. Pretty quickly. Oh. And there should be more than one around. Of course, we got this. At least I, th I think I still got this. Hold on. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, yeah. Nope. Nope. It does not want to give us its undivided attention. Eat my vortex. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that was a really terrible shot. I'm very bad with these things. You know what? I'll just leave you there. Uh, any reason why I... <laughs> Not sold the game. <laughs> well, it's probably a good thing that you're aware of uh, that creature being there instead of just going out <laughs> and running into it. The first time I came across one of those things, I actually was outside of my sea moth. Uh, I'm not even sure I had a sea moth back then. Uh, and it grabbed me and insta tore me apart. And that's not even the biggest thing I've uh, come across. There's, uh, hold on, there's one, hold on, hold on, where are we? We're over, that's base A. Okay, base B, it should be somewhere around there, I think. This thing has freaked me out so many times. It's not hostile, but it still manages to freak me out every single time. Uh, okay, I guess I kinda got used to it by now, but... It should be somewhere around here. Uh, there? Hmm. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> Is it, is it still gone? It should still be up. It looks like, well, my end it still seems to be up. But yeah, this thing is actually friendly. And it just spins around uncontrollably. You can actually bump into it and it will spin in a different direction. It might actually launch me into... Yeah, okay. And it kind of damages my ship when I bump into it, but that's alright. Can't just do it again. Oh! Oh, okay, yeah. Thank you. 
And now it's spinning in a different direction. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. My window is starting to uh, crack. Holy crap. Yeah, this this thing. Still no sound. Uh, try reloading. Let, let me check. Oh. No, I got sound. At some point, it's gonna launch itself into the air, I'm just sure of it. Or it's gonna launch me into the air. Freaking it. Okay, let's see if we can actually launch ourselves into the air. Should be able to do it. Hey! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, let's see where we are. Oh, we're right next to it. <laughs> is it is it chilling out? Are you chilling out? Chill out. Chill out, honey buddy. This thing is so freaky. Nighttime approaches. Okay, let's try this one more time. I can't help it, I, I kind of like it. We've got sort of a, uh, an understanding in an eye. Come on. Yeah, I'm flying. Oh, holy shit, I'm going far. So yeah, if you want to go somewhere real quick, <laughs> this is the way. Who says you can't fly in this game? <laughs> uh, where are we? Oh, I got absolutely no clue. We're kind of close to the island, though. Uh, I think. It's all the island, so. Where is it? Uh, it should be over there. It's Yeah, it's right there. With a big pile of misters. And my base B. Oh, my energy's running low. Hold on. Let me just go ahead and... Um, right, yes. Switch one of my batteries out. I'll take you. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes, 100%. Very good. Don't really need to repair it yet. Actually, the only difference with nighttime is that it's very hard to see. That's the only difference. I don't believe creatures actually become more hostile or more active. Actually, it, it, some things really look very pretty at night. Like these, for instance. And, uh... Well, right now we're in kind of a boring biome, but... We should be running into those plants again in a second. And they look pretty nice as well at night time. It's just, it's very different at night. Uh, I think they're further this way though. Oh, actually we should be running into something... Oh, ghost base? No, 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 no. I'm not looking for cave bee, I'm looking for base bee. Oh, base bee there. Okay, I was going the wrong way. We should be running into the blue blue orbs biome thing in a second. Actually, the plants should be this way. Let's go this way first. No, it's the, the same world every single time for everyone. He looks kind of different as well. Okay, so it's this way then. Yeah, this is the green. It should be somewhere around uh, 
little further this way. Yeah, there we go. Caution. Dehydration detected. And the fish actually light up as well, which is pretty cool, I think. Okay, let's go to base B. Because the, the reason for base B is because I was uh, exploring that particular area a whole lot at that time. And I thought it would be a good uh, place to set up a base. Uh, first is the base to get the resources and... Um, oh yeah, this is, this is pretty awesome as well. Plants like these. And these are the blue orbs. But yeah, this started out as a little base with just uh, a couple of aquaria, so I could uh, farm fish, if you will. And I made it bigger and bigger and bigger, so now I can actually dock my Seamoth here, so it will recharge its battery. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. And I got my... Uh, did I...? I still got that depleted cell on me, yeah? Uh, yeah, 8%, good. Let's actually repair this thing. Uh, is it fully... No, it's not. Alright, there we go. Don't go fall in the water. Did I have a... No, don't have battery charger or anything. So this is where I, uh, this is like, kind of like my own room, nothing special, a little aquarium. <laughs> so I started with this uh, to farm some of these trees because this is like, this is the favorite tree. It's the best tree in the game. Growing fruit. I need some water. Vital signs stabilizing. So this is my primary fish tank. This is where I get the fish that I actually eat from. I want a couple of those and those and those and those. Let's go ahead and cook these real quick. Oh. Uh, do I want you? I think I do actually. Uh, nah, I should be alright. that this one cooked food actually spoils by the way but you can also make uh, cured food which is a little bit more salty but it doesn't actually go bad vital signs stabilizing so the cooked ones you usually eat immediately and then the cured ones you take with you on long journeys. But then don't forget to bring some extra water. I got different aquaria here for different sort of fish. These fish can actually be uh, turned into water, strangely enough. And then here I got my main reason for building this space, which is the scanner room, which actually tells me, uh, well, it tells me what sort of resources are around. Although, oh, this is weird. There should be some sort of list here. Oh, weird. Maybe it bugged out. But it also has camera control. You've got these little cameras on each end. Those things. And you can actually use these to explore a little bit, although the range is limited, so at some point the camera will go fuzzy and then it will just shut down completely and then you have to go after this thing and retrieve it. And I can tell you, it's a pain in the ass to find these things again once they uh, run out of juice or signal strength and you need to go relocate them. I did upgrade the range on this thing a little bit. Yeah, it's already going fuzzy at the edges.
so probably at around 500 meters it's gonna completely cut out but it's a pretty safe uh, way to explore a little bit at least Scanner room is up there. I'm kind of wondering why the base is shifting all over the place. to be kind of careful redocking this thing else you can actually spring leaks in your base did I not properly dock it okay I'm kind of wondering what happened to my list though huh. with that you could make it scan for uh, specific resources which of course is quite handy but it needs to friggin work Let's grab one more of those uh, Oculus. Oh. Okay, so I should go look for some more quartz, but seeing as that's kind of boring uh, and kind of late for me at the same time. I think I will do that some other time. Um, hmm. Oh, you know what? I will show you the bottom of the floating island because that's pretty impressive as well. The whole floating island is kind of nice, but especially the bottom of it, it's really, really impressive. It should be right about there. Uh, 130. Yep, yeah, there it is. From afar, it looks like rubbish because it needs to render. Oh, those trees are actually very cool at night time as well. It's a shame we're getting here when it's just morning. Okay, so you think normal island, yeah? Nothing too special, and then you go down. And it turns out, it's actually floating. It's not attached to anything. So you've got coral, but you've got these big things as well. Which I think are pretty darn impressive. And I guess that's what keeps it afloat. I'm from the Netherlands. Oh, there's actually another place that I kind of want to show you as well. Uh, cave, cave B. I don't think the caves were anything interesting. Probably should really remove those at some point. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, yes I am. Uh, alpha, yeah, okay. If we go this way, we should be running into the... Mushroom tree biome, I think it is. Or I guess that's what I call it. Actually, run into some other cool things as well, like okay, this we already kind of saw. But we might actually run into one of the electric eel fish. <laughs> I get that a lot, actually. No, the 
there's nothing down there. Nothing really interesting. Ah, different sounds. I like it when the music kicks in. You do? Oh, okay. That's kind of strange. So this is the thing, the, well, the red sand area, I guess I go, it, it's the red grass area, I should say, it's not sand. Sure, there's a lot of sand, but there's something big around here. Uh, oh, right, yeah, smaller versions of the one that was spinning around. It's not an easy language to learn from uh, what others have been telling me. Of course, it's easy for me. I've been born and raised here. I'm too far to the right. I should be going further to the left. Especially the gur sound is very uh, hard for people. Oh, I think I just squashed a leech. <laughs> That's alright. Um, piranhas. They'll try to bite you in the ass if they get half a chance. Loads of quartz around here. Am I going the right way? Westish, yeah, this should be alright. Uh, that's north. Yeah, this should be alright, I think. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There's a lot in here. It really needs to let render a lot of stuff down here. But yeah, this I really like as well. And this two of these areas. I don't think we're at the big one right now. Although I might be mistaken. Because there's supposedly... Oh, wait, is it this it? I don't think this is it. This is a pretty big one, but it's not the biggest one. Oh, and these actually have the bone sharks in them. Which are not too friendly. Although I don't see them right now. I heard one, but I don't see them. It's definitely a bone shark. At least I think it's a bone shark. That's coming from... Oh, this is the big one. Is it? Uh, mm, yes, yes it is. A lot of red... There's actually a little hole in here. Huh. I'll be damned. Oh, we can scan these. Tree leech. Can we get anything from them? No, we can't. Wow, this is... Okay, interesting. Inside a long... Okay. Wait, does it actually have any... This seems to be going somewhere. It's probably going to get me killed, though, if I continue along, so let's not. I had no idea this was here. This is pretty cool. Let's, uh, do I have any... Uh, I thought I'm in the ship. I'm probably going to check this out later. Oh, hold on. Let's just... Welcome Grab some more O2. Thank you. Alright, I'm just gonna drop that in there and then I'm gonna call it. 
Let's drop that. Uh, five, five. Let's put it over there. Go on. Um, did I just drop it inside the... you got to be kidding me. Oh, come on now. Okay, I guess I messed up. Uh, yeah. Beacon label. Well, I guess I know where to find it. <laughs> it actually dropped it inside a tree. Ah, this is just my luck. Okay, never mind. I'll uh, see about fixing that through the console next time. Or before next time. Yeah. Oh, and every once in a while you get an eclipse as well. But I think it's now generally turning into night time. Yeah. Night time approaches, and then the mushroom forest turns into this. Which is, I think, pretty darn cool. And then easy bumps into a tree and destroys the forest. That usually happens a lot as well. But um, I'm going to leave it there. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of my weekend. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your weekend as well. Um, I'm kind of hoping we're going to get a big update for Subnautica before too long because I do have a feeling as though I'm kind of running out of things to do, but I might just decide to start a new playthrough. Uh, because I think if we go into the experimental uh, build, that we get to see a little bit more of what they're planning on doing. And there might actually be some of those buildings uh, that supposedly are going to be in the game already in there. So I'll read up on that and uh, we'll have to see you next week then. Um, hope you have a great remainder of the weekend. Thanks for joining. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.